They heard you fall up. They heard you hyping up NA way too much. They got to clean up NRG. They got sent back to the lobby. 100 Thieves also now in some trouble as Scurry's the last one alive. But look who it is. Apex South, Australia. Jen Burton, stand up for your boys right now as Reignite is alive. Team Unite from APAC North in game with. So, all the hype for NA. We got two APAC North teams, one APAC South team, and I believe Team Liquid left in this one. Now you see Alliance only with Hockey. No, hockey's, oh, hockey's got called out though. He's literally one. No Where does he no go? Way. He can't escape. He was literally one shot right there. He was in the line of sight of Reignite. You gotta be kidding me. And I actually saw the analyst predictions and the teams to watch. I said, Suja Raikou over Re Reignite. Are y'all crazy? Reignite is the best team in APAC South for a reason. They've been so dominant, and even with a sub at JMW from the UK, they are here to play. Sharky gets picked up by this team recently. Big, big controversial decision to drop templates and pick up Sharky. But guess what? Him and his duo, Zero, ready to frag. They've been absolutely frying within these well, lobbies. Knock, knock, APAC is coming through. Team Unite, three squads left. Look at the Watson setup. It's a wow. work of art here. Call it Picasso, game with. Now we're going to be able to rotate off to the side. They have the Twilight, they have the PK. Looking at you on the Watson. And the zone is pulling right to where all these fences are. The Watson impact, the fences in the late game here. Significant. Unite just needs some cover. Game win. Unite, reignite. Three squads left. Malstera going to try and get some shots, but the Missile Mirage is going to come through. You can now play off the side, losing out on those shields. The dome is forced to call out. Hopefully, being able to pop that shield back. Another wow. dome now called in. Look at Unite's position, though. They have such a good spot. Like Watson. you said, everybody needs to go into the line of sight, into those Watson fences. It's a penitentiary right now on screen. As you see, fence on fence. Game with farming. Nice shots with the PK. Flatline comes out. He's got ammo for days. Yuka F. Frags and fries and game with a 1v1 for the bread. This is the shot. Reignite does it. Reignite is your champion of game number one. Australia, stand up, mates. What a start from the boys down under. You love to see it. Apex South coming through game number one. So many points up for grabs. Rig have managed to stabilize a little bit there, but you can see they're still taking damage from either side. Alliance go out in ninth now, and we're still watching these teams up the top who don't have to move yet. Elevate on the low ground. They've got double purple. Sleep still on white. Doesn't matter. They'll get the job done. Abrilele goes down. So does Cloud9. Game with have been eliminated. Seven squads remaining. Team Liquid now. They need to get a move on as well. The silos have been cleared. No one up there. Look at AD Raccoon though. GMT, Reignite. All so close to each other. You got Sweet still alive as well for NRG. There goes Cloud9. Courtesy of Team Liquid. Oh man, GMT. They are in a fantastic spot. I'm glad we had that listen in with them before just to see how they were feeling about that and, and how they managed to wrangle it. Um, it's going to be very good from here as the circle continues to close. ADR on top of them and Reek know that they need to eliminate them to create that space for themselves. Triple right here for AD Raccoon. Now high ground advantage as well. Can they get some damage? Can they get some knocked here? Try and just at least clear out some of the space and moving forward. Six squads left. We are getting down to the final minute here of match two. We need to see what's going to happen here because Team Liquid 35 points. If they could find victory, they could be so close to that 50 point margin. If Gilderson pushes in, gets it out of GM. MT, sweet, the solo player for Ian NRG goes down to Karompu. Liquid though, now they feel the pressure too. Gilderson loses all of his armor, goes down as well. Can they fight back though? I thought he was the clutch player for them. It's going to be tough without him. Maybe this is a 2v2 now against GMT. Team Liquid in the blink oh, of an eye. All Maskey. of them have gone down. Four squads left alive. Now here's the fight between Rig and ADR. Elevate from the high ground. Come in. Elevate. They made it in on the final match of day two. Could they find victory? as well here in match two of the finals. It is getting down to the final seconds here. Elevate double red high ground as well. They found victory yesterday. They should just about do so again today in the finals. Elevate from here. They'll be the winners. No doubt about it. Match two. Elevate champions. Have chance seeing the bombardment says, this is not my business, I don't care. I got the Watson pylon, I got the difference in composition here with this team pick. Just managed to get the banner, could potentially go for the shield swap as wow. well here, just in case. The shield drop on purpose, in case their shield gets broken, they can just pick that up. We got number one in EMEA, number one in North America and TSM, number one in maybe your hearts. 
on left in this game, Team Empire, the EMEA, EMEA superstar team, the rising stars of EMEA looking so well poised to win this game. Cleave on Bloodhound. Bangalore smokes everywhere, but guess what? They have scans. Exactly, and that's exactly what you saw. Imagine the pieces of oh, TSM just booted them. Oh, hello, hello. Never knock, mind. Knock. Here comes TSM. No. Oh, no. They had a plan, and it was not executed. And that was actually such a good plan. Almost did they gain God spot, but everyone else turned and focused them. They got fifth place. So close to a big game from TSM, but instead they have no kill points really, and not a great placement points. Burger left. Optic Gaming gonna jump on board with Duplex. Big Doop, King Doop, Doop on the streets. What you got? Let's see, he's got to heal up. He's got the gold, evil shield. Team Unite is still alive. Wow. F-Chan has been alive for so long, has been able to avoid the bombardment pressure. Optic Gaming get another knock here onto Team Burger. Team Burger under a lot of duress. They get the knock and the reset. That's huge. Skittle Cakes, Duplex. This is why they're such a good duo. And guess what? It's a 3v3v1. Oh. So Optic Gaming is going to dance. Where they're are gonna going? Dip. Where are they going? They're going to dance. They're going to run. You better believe it. Green Wall, easy dubs. Game number three. Optic Gaming are your champion. Now we have a three versus three versus three. Optic, TSM, and Empire to close out match four here of the finals. 11 kills already for Team Empire? These guys just show up or they don't show up at all. It is an open field to close things out here on Storm Point of Match 4. How he leads the way, the front line, they're the proactive team, but it's Optic Gaming that might be the team that is going to benefit the most with a third party from a distance away. It's an early bubble for TSM. They're all cracked as well. They've got full health, but they're going for the bats. The phase breach repositions TSM in this late fight. They realize that they need to be next to one of the fences. That's kind of their only option here. They don't want to be the first ones to start the fight. You never do in one of these Mexican standoff situation all three teams still with the three members alive you can see EMP they don't necessarily need hard cover playing around the smoke optic well they want to probably go for the third party but right now EMP uh, Empire and TSM not really fighting each other in fact both looking more towards optics good okay is down so it's ranchers though for holst our TSM now going to push on to team Empire TSM they get a knock on either side now and they're looking fantastic taking torn Hal. two squads at once Hal just goes in Hal in a 1v1 with duplex now the holst trying to stay alive as well and cleans up team Empire TSM take match four and Superico has a chance to play big time spoiler for the rest of this lobby. If they can somehow stop Reignite their Aussie brothers, if they can stop Team Liquid, maybe just maybe it'll just be one team at match point instead of two or three. Superico needs a performance. They are in 18th place with only eight points. If they win this game, they can do it. Alliance under duress from the hands of Unite, another team in seventh place. Unite with Legetta. Japan is playing so well right now. Reignite now trying to find an opportunity to maybe take some height, but they can't. They see Team Liquid has a height instead. Reignite are landing right in front of Luminosity, though. Luminosity was in trouble originally. 100 Thieves now. You see Baxon getting the knock onto Hockey's, getting that knock with the wingman there. I'm going to make a bold statement here and say Luminosity Gaming is needing to win this game. Sutraiku is needing to win this game. This is a must win, do or die scenario for Mexico and for Australia. Team Unite pushes and takes out 100 Thieves. That's gonna help them. Unite, though, is gonna get griefed. Luminosity Gaming Mexico stands up. Oh, say hello to my little friend, the Spitfire, mowing them down. They are popping up when they were in such a bad position originally. Getting pitched by two squads now. They take care of 100 Thieves. They are out of the lobby. Four squads left. Ganja Men is a monster, proving that he's been one of the best players in the world here. Two controller players, one keyboard and mouse on this team. They play with default Xbox controllers. Not even kidding. No paddles. Doesn't matter. They don't need it, and they still perform. Luminosity, coached by Bistillo. You see the flag around the back of their coach shaking his head nervously because his team needs to perform here. Here you go, Reignite. 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 Right on top of Team Liquid, though. No. Here you go. You see the SDK now moving in. You see Rick now trying to take a reposition. Reignite only on a zero. Reignite zero needs to go big. No, he's going to get punched oh. in the face. Luminosity. Cielito lindo. Mexico. The zone will start closing soon. 15 seconds or so until these teams the have fence. to make their next move. Look Unite the have a, a, it's a whole oval 
to themselves here right now, as well as an EMP on the way. FGen has created a northern wall for the APAC North team. NRG, of course, above <gasps> Team Liquid. Empire, they're gone. They're out. Now Nathan has to heal up. They're out on 48 points as well, Xenox. Oh, they were no. two off making match point, but will it even matter? Because Team Liquid have found JMW. JMW. They are the only ones now who can take this out. He does manage to get it down onto Gildersons, though. The young player has done so well to get Team Liquid into this winning position in the playoffs. Missile Swarm from NRG now onto Team Liquid. That down onto Gildersons could be the difference maker in maybe giving Reignite another attempt at things. NRG, you have to wipe out Team Liquid if you want to be able to win the championship on the 45 points as well. Four squads left alive. TSM for Hulse just by himself. As then we've got Arkstar. Team Unite, NRG, and TL have had TL had time to reset here. It looks like they might have got them up, but NRG are pushing. Unite can third party this as well. NRG get the knockdown onto Nocturnal as well. It's fun. There's only one left up now for Team Liquid. They're out. They're gone. We are going to continue on here for Championship Sunday. NRG though should fall at the hands of Team Unite. They created that northern wall of the Watson fences. Now surely find. Victory, our winners of match six from APAC North, it's Team Unite! The calm before the storm. Reignite, coming from Sydney, so much adversity, playing with JMW as a substitute, Zero. Such a talented IGL, the strict hard IGL for this team, made the decision to pick up Sharky, his old duo, his old teammate in place of Templix, the Indonesian Australian. And now, they have an opportunity to put Apex South on the map, to put Australia on the map. They've been performing all weekend long, but look at Luminosity Gaming. Here comes the Caustic Ultimate. Oh. It's gonna tick, it's gonna tick. Tuck, goodbye, potentially. And oh. they connect for such good damage, but it's not enough yet. They need to move the storage behind them. Reignite is gonna have to be taken out. Surely, Reignite is dead. Caustic Cast, yes, you see them right here. Sharky gets taken down. They oh, are repositioning shot. right oh, now. This is so difficult, because now they're gonna be in the latter site of Optic Gaming. Whoop. Oh my gosh, Zero has a chance here. He makes it. GMW makes it as well. Down to two. Can Reignite do it with a team of two? It was obviously a car long range right there, so I wasn't intentionally making fun of him. <laughs> my man's been hitting shots all day long, right? I'm sitting here just talking. That's all I do. My man, it's more than enough. On board with an overhead view right now. Optic Gaming oh, on the get him in. They're punching him in. They're going to actually ult LG and maybe mistakenly oh. ruining this opportunity to keep Reignite out of this. The mobile respawn beacon to act as makeshift cover here for Reignite. They get the res onto Sharky. They Are couldn't get the dirty. This is still winnable for Reignite. They res Sharky. This Sharky is, is back crazy. in the game. Full forces now for Reignite. Ganja has to drop. It's all up to Optic Gaming as LG gets melted. The Dome Shield comes. Reignite is hiding and waiting and hoping that they can ride this wave. Yeah, they're going to hang out behind the rock here. They got the mobile respawn beacon to play off of. Optic Gaming is engaging with Luminosity. Reignite to go in for the third party and take this entire victory. LG is out. Optic Gaming skill case goes oh, out as well. Zero is oh. going to do it. Wide left flank. And just like that, Reignite is going to do it. They are your champions. Australia comes comes all the way to Europe and wins the ALGS Split 2 Playoff Championship. Put respect on these Australian teams. APAC South, they do it. They do it, Fallout. Just took seven games. Are you kidding me? What is this? The pure emotion. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Reignite are your champions of the Apex Legends Global Series Split 2 Playoffs from Stockholm, Sweden. Congratulations to Sharky, Zero, JMW. I love it. Look at this wall of motion here, Fallout.